Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hello and welcome, and if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with an unboxing of some of my recent in-store finds of some diamond painting kits. I often hear people say that it's hard to find diamond painting kits in store or uh, that it's hard to find um, inexpensive legally licensed diamond painting kits which is where the artwork is not stolen from the artist and um, I'm here to tell you that there are more and more possibilities out there what feels like every day. I visited a couple of my local crafting stores uh, Michael's and Hobby Lobby and found some adorable seasonal kits for really really low price points um, so I'm gonna we're gonna take a look at these kits together today and you can see um, what they have to offer and um, decide if this is something that kind of you know suits your fancy now keep in mind these are seasonal kits depending on when you're seeing this video and when you're shopping um, that your stores may or may not have these exact kits uh, but I do know that they do carry these brands and they do tend to rotate in seasonal offerings pretty regularly uh, so these two in the middle are by the brand leisure arts and they, these are from, these are the two that are from Hobby Lobby Lobby. And then the Make Market brand, this is Michael's. And I think that Michael's is in um, Canada and maybe some other countries. Hobby Lobby, I think, might just be in the States, but don't quote me on that. Um, so yeah, I suppose this is mainly for, for people that do live in, in the U.S. To, to that have access to these stores. And you can get these online um, sometimes for shipping as well. Let's go ahead and start out with uh, the two Leisure Arts kits from Hobby Lobby. And uh, we'll take a look at those very first. Uh, so this first one um, that I, I've seen a couple of people work on and thought it was just really incredibly adorable is this cute little like hot chocolate snowman um let me see yeah they're calling it snowman latte or cafe creme de noel uh it has the, the thumbnail of how this is going to look with diamonds down and the size the price point on this guy uh was 23.99 however if you live in the u.s you've been to hobby lobby you know that you never pay full price for anything at hobby lobby you wait for them to rotate through one of their sales and so i think i got this one 50 percent off and so i think i spent 12 dollars on on each of these leisure art kits it may have been 60% off. I can't remember, but it was it was cheap. Like it was, this is not expensive at all. So they're saying this is an, an intermediate kit, um, diamond paint by number, full drill. That means that you're filling the whole canvas is gonna have diamonds on it, as opposed to parts of it just being printed where you don't put diamonds. Um, includes 43 dazzling gem colors, fabric, wax, stylus, script tray, and instructions. Okay, perfect to frame your finished size. Oh, okay, yeah, 12 by 12 inches. I'm not sure if that's gonna be just where the diamonds go or the entire canvas, but we'll measure it and we'll find out. Um, but that is very frameable. Here's some notes about how to diamond paint written for you. And then what's on the back here? 24 facet gems. Uh, here's what your kit includes again. And then here's some other Christmas kits they're advertising. And a oh, women owned. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Leisure arts. There's that. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Let me grab scissors. Um, I, you know what? As long as I've been diamond painting, I haven't actually worked on a kit by Leisure Arts uh, brand. Um, so I might try to get to one of these this holiday season. We'll see. They're little. I feel like they'd work up really quickly too. So that would be fun. All right. Okay. It looks like everything is just right here included in here plastic dust cover or just kind of you know bag <laughs> for extra protection um and then if we unroll it okay there's some instructions and a toolkit and your diamonds and then here is the canvas itself oh that's cute now if your canvas wants to roll in on itself like this one does you can just roll it back the opposite direction this is definitely a poured glue canvas it's got that clear plastic cover and oh that's so adorable now don't panic if you're seeing what looks like red on the canvas um this is you know what i bet this is the same exact brand parent brand or manufacturer as the make market kits you'll see that they have some of these red symbols too um and kind of oversaturated i highly suspect the diamond dots is the parent brand um for leisure arts among others <laughs> so including make market the other the, the michaels kits we'll look at um i'll show you them side by side and it'll make sense but anyway um just because this looks red that's not going to be the color 
color of the diamond that goes there. It's just the color of the symbol. Um, so looking at the canvas, you guys, we do have the Leisure Arts branding. There's some nice scalloped edges here. We have a legend printed on the left and on the right that you can refer to. Um, here's the it says dazzle area. That's so cute. Design size is 12 by 12 and the fabric size is 15 uh, ish by 15 ish <laughs> inches. Now, does that include the border? I wonder, because I don't know if you guys saw, but this is one of the reasons I suspect this is a diamond dots canvas, uh, kit in reality is they have this printed border where the glue doesn't go all the way up to the edge of it. There's not going to be any diamonds placed around this border. So I'm curious to see if that 12 by 12 inches includes that, that extra border. Um, ish it's a little over 12 inches if i just measure the drill field it's under 12 inches so you know if you're looking to seriously get this frame just perfectly you might you know have to really try to measure it exactly <laughs> uh, this is gonna be pretty colorful for a small size kit like this one you guys it has 43 colors that's a lot um, for a little kit like this now they did include an instruction sheet and there's some info. It's 100% polyester. Yeah, that can't, this 100% polyester canvas is a very distinct kind of material. Um, here's kind of how to's written out for you. If you're a beginner, I do have a beginner video too that I will link below if you're curious. Um, oh, and look, you guys, charted image used under license from shutterstock.com. Of course, they misspelled shutterstock. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that is, and that's so funny because literally right above that line it says we can't, however, be responsible for human error, typographical mistakes, or variations. And I don't know. Um, but anyway, so this is licensed. You guys, a lot of these crafting stores like Hobby Lobby and Michaels have actually really, really stringent vetting procedures to make sure that what they're stocking and they're in store in particular is ethical and, and everything, including the materials. Um, so, you know, I like knowing that this kit, which was really, really, really inexpensive is something that is licensed properly. So anyway, um, here's the care instructions written out for you. Interesting. Okay. So instructions, nice that they include that because I would consider this to be absolutely a beginner friendly kit. Then you're going to get a toolkit here, which actually looks a little bit more inclusive than you sometimes see from these really budget beginner toolkits. They've included a ton of these plastic baggies uh, which is actually really nice because then I wonder if this is enough to actually have enough for a baggie for each of these colors all 43 of those colors after you after you cut open these diamonds which are in heat sealed bags you want somewhere to put them and so having baggies is convenient we've got a pen with a squishy on it and there is a multi-placer included as well if you want to place more than one diamond at a time you can do so uh, but that is you know nice inclusion I've got a tray just basic gray tray and then, um, oh yeah, this has a little note in here to peel off. There is a thin plastic film on um, the wax plates so that you wanna make sure you peel off before you try to load up your pen. So you got two of those wax pots. So uh, wax plates, so, you know, basic toolkit, but really, like I said, pretty decent for <laughs> a beginner kit. A lot of times you'll see it really stripped down from there. Um, let's look at the diamonds really quick and see. Okay, um, so like I said, these are all in heat sealed bags and it looks like, hold on, this gets to the beginning of the strand here. Okay, so a couple of things. It looks like the DMA 57209 matches with the unit number that's on the canvas. So you know what, what you know what canvases go with. And then um, the number one matches up with the serial number on your legend and then 225 is the diamond code. Now it does look like this is using your standard DMC color code system, which is what most diamond painting companies use. Then again, if, di if, if I am correct in that Diamond Dots is the parent manufacturer for this company, which I could absolutely be wrong. It doesn't really matter anyway. It's just a observation of noticing similarities between um, some particular features of canvases and kits. Anyway, Diamond Dots typically has their own color code system that's not the DMC, but Leisure Arts apparently 
does use the DMC color code system. So um, that is, like I said, more widely used with diamond painting companies and um, is handy for if you wanna save your leftover diamonds, you can save them accord according to color code. Uh, so I'm just taking a quick glance through to see if we have any kind of like special drill colors, like any ABs or anything like that. Um, I don't think so. I don't think they advertised it as such anyway, but you know, you never know. Ecru is, um, that is actually, believe it or not, a DMC code. Um, it's for like the color of undyed floss. And then we've got, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any special drill colors in this one, which is totally fine. I just am cu always curious to see. But it's really cute and colorful, you guys. And um, like I said, these are heat sealed bags. So once you cut them open, you'll need to store them either in some kind of storage system um, or Ziploc bags, whatever works for you. But yeah, this and this kit has round diamonds, round shaped diamonds. So, you know, that's, that's good to know too. I don't know if Leisure Arts sells any kits with square shaped diamonds, but... I don't know, I'd be curious if, if they did, but I think both the ones that I got have rounds. So anyway, this is Snowman Latte. So incredibly cute. And I'll tell you what, it's super tempting to work on this one because it's just so little and adorable. So let me move this one. I'm just gonna set it over here and let's take a look at the other Leisure Arts kit. Um, this one is called Holiday Deer and same price point all of the same kind of features on the box there's what this is going to look like once it's diamond painted it's so cute and this is going to be a full drill one as well where the whole canvas is covered in diamonds as opposed to having parts that are not covered in diamonds but it looks like everything else on the box is identical um i'm not sure if these seasonal kits are ones that you could get from um from the website at this point. I feel like often they'll they'll kind of take them off the website sooner than they run out of stock in stores, but I'm not, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Take a look at this canvas together. I'm gonna kind of skim past the toolkit and whatnot though, because if it's the same, I don't wanna spend a ton of time on that. But yeah, it looks like, yeah, we've got the same instruction sheet. A pack of diamonds and yes the same the same toolkit again if you want this to lay flat we're just gonna roll it backwards all right there we go cute oh my gosh that's adorable this one's gonna have 32 colors so a little bit fewer colors you guys same size as the other one it'd be cute to hang these up side by side even um i don't see any special drill codes on here but otherwise all the features on this canvas are the same it's still the same polyester material same branding and whatnot now i didn't really show you the symbols up close on the other canvas um you will see a lot of these red symbols and sometimes like in this case i feel like they look a little just slightly blurred or oversaturated i half wonder if it's something about how the polyester material material of the canvas kind of um, eats up the ink and, and and shows it back but um like this almost looks like a letter O, but it's a letter Q. We do have an, a letter O on the canvas as well, but it is a black color instead of a red color. So hopefully, you know, any colors or any symbols that are similar to one another, otherwise, hopefully are gonna be different colors so that they're not ones we're gonna mix up. But how cute would it be if you wanted to, if you had like some uh, special drills yourself to add some like ABs or crystals into the ornaments hanging off of the, the deer's antlers, that would be so cute. Um, but yeah, on both of these canvases, it looks like, you know, there's some color blocking, which is where you have a lot of the same color in a small area and a decent amount of confetti too. Lots of color changes like we have here. So, um, you know, again, I still think that these are really beginner friendly kits and really, really adorable. It says intermediate on them. And maybe that's because they consider beginner to be even, even smaller kits maybe, but I don't know you guys, that's super cute though. Oh, oh, really quick. The diamonds, they are round diamonds as well. I'm not gonna pull them all out to look through, but it looks like they have the same the same features with the codes and whatnot on them. A really pretty color spread there. Blues, greens, pinks, yellows. All right. 
Now let's get into some of these make market kits. Now these are from Michaels. The 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 retail price is $14.99, but I just picked these up today and they were um 50% off. And so I got this for like $7.50 or $8. And that is just so incredibly inexpensive um, for a kit for a diamond painting kit that is licensed. This is 16 by 20 inches, 40 by 50 centimeters. That is even bigger than the ones that we just looked at, and the price point is lower so i think that's that's really cool um make market kits uh are that my make market is the michaels brand like their in-store crafting brand they have lots of different crafts not just diamond painting um but i have completed one of their kits before and was pretty happy with the quality of, of working on it and i'll try to link to a review that i did of that kit down in the description box below as far as features on the box go we get to see okay this is what it will look like with diamonds on it is a full drill kit as well with diamonds on the whole canvas um the wrap on the side of the box is just the artwork and then the back tells us what our contents are again this is a this is another 100 percent polyester canvas um, pre-sorted diamonds and then your tools and instructions and then we've got a little bit of instructions written out here and then it tells you again this is the diamond and design area and there is that so let's take a peek um I feel like Diamond uh, Michaels has been stocking even more make market diamond painting kits lately. I feel like when I was in there today, they just had multiple end caps and a good section of an aisle dedicated to make market diamond paintings. So take a look if you if you haven't already. Um, I bet you I bet you might find something that you do like. <laughs> So uh, just like the other one, everything is included in that plastic cover, the plastic bag it was in. Let's do this the easier way. Okay, we're gonna unroll it. And oh, that's so funny, you guys. This toolkit is nearly identical. <laughs> it's got a different color wax. Um, we've got an instruction sheet that is uh, a little bit different. And we have diamonds that are packaged similarly, but with some different kind of marks on them. Um, now we're gonna roll this backwards again to help it lay flat so we can take a closer look at it. Okay. So there's our really cute snowman image. <laughs> as far as the canvas itself goes, um, you might notice a lot of similarities here. If I literally put these side by side, you guys, I mean, even down to like the, the, the scalloping on the edges and just the colors and the color codes that they're using are very, well, I mean, there are some, there are some differences. Like these are a lot of symbols and this is more letters and numbers, but I mean, you see like the use of like red ones and just overall stylistically very similar. But interestingly, I look and I see some things that are missing. Like we don't have thumbnails on this one um, and we don't even have like a canvas name. We just have a unit number. And I kind of wonder if that's, one of the ways that they keep the price point down on these make market kits is sort of eliminating some of those extra features and just making it very, very stripped down. But again, this was a really, really inexpensive kit for the price point. So it's like, it's not shocking to me. Um, we do have their instructions written out for you along with, they have some tips, wash hands before working <laughs> and some care instructions. Um, you know what, even these instructions are, a lot of these instructions are exactly the same from this to the instruction sheet on the other one. And they're both in English and French. Like those are the two languages of choice. So I don't know, little things that you notice. Again, really basically identical toolkit, except I don't know, this one doesn't appear to come with a multi-placer, but let me open it up and check. So we've got a bag of baggies, a smaller you know number of them. And we have a pen with a squishy here. And we have wax, even with the same peel off sticker. This one's in blue. And then we have a tray. Uh, we do not have a multi-placer with this, with this particular kit. Um, so the other thing to note is that the color list that we have does not include a set of color codes it just has the number and so um you know we don't necessarily have an easy way to kind of save these and match them up with other colors after i feel like you'd kind of have to just sort of compare to other colors that you already have and try to find a match this one is like real gummy on the ends like did someone open this and return it i don't know this is just a funky it's like dirty mark there anyway um 
but yeah, so that's that's worthy of note, I suppose, is that there aren't any color codes here. But yeah, I just wonder if this is one of those ways that they kind of keep the, the price point down. Uh, as far as the diamonds go, yeah, even the number that's on here. So the top number, like the number 14, is going to match with the number 14 here. Um, that's how you know what you know what symbol these go with. And then the long number here, the 107, uh, blah, 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 is the same as this number down here. So you can match these up easily. I'm going to just keep them stored together in the box, though. Um, let's take a look. Some of these Make Market kits end up with special drills. So let's let's take a quick, quick look. All right, just kind of go backwards here. You guys can kind of see the colors anyway. Uh, they're round diamonds again. And the Make Market kit that I did complete, the quality on the diamonds was great. I didn't have any real complaints. It was a nice, it was a nice kit to work with, especially for that price point. Um. Okay, yeah, so I don't see any special diamonds. I would imagine they would maybe be at the end. But I don't see any, which is totally fine. Like I said, I just know that occasionally these make market kits will come with um, special drills like ABs. Those pretty greens. Okay, let's look at the canvas a little more closely. This one has a good amount of color blocking, you guys. These nice big color sections in the background. You should be able to zip right through those if you like to use a multi-placer. And then I, I think I've seen this one completed too. And I feel like the details really come through nicely and they did a nice job with it. I love the Cardinal. So cute. And it's nice that this one isn't like really heavy necessarily on Christmas theme specifically. I mean, I guess there's a Christmas gift. I was going to say this is more a little bit more just sort of generically winter. So if you don't celebrate Christmas, but you just want to have a wintry kit to work on this one totally works. So what's the name they gave this one again? Did they, did they say on here? Just snowman. Okay. It's just the name that they gave this one. So there is our first make market kit, a cute little snowman. And then we have one other make market kit to take a look at sort of giving you a, a variety of different things that are out there. All right, this one was just a cute little Christmas village scene. And I really kind of was drawn to this one because I love the snowflake effect in the night sky as they're falling down. I thought that was really cute. Really, really cute. So this one is just called Village. And um, I'm sorry, I'm having this. Pick up the gem, stick it down. That's just, that's just funny wording. Everything about this otherwise looks like it's going to be identical. You know, they're not marketing it as having any special drills either. Um, it looks like it's about the same size, exactly the same size. Uh, so I think this one is going to have a lot in common with the snowman kit we just looked at. <laughs> no complaints, though. This is just, you know, a variety of offerings that they have. All right. So looks like the kit contents are going to be the same. Including our, yep, our toolkit. Let's roll this. really wanting to stay rolled at the one end okay so we have this cute little winter village scape oh that's adorable that's so 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 cute this one's gonna have 39 colors and you guys all of this down here is the same colors so this would be a good one to practice multi-placing if you like but then all these just cute little houses and all the different colors it reminds me of those little like santa villages uh, with the little block houses um, and then the snowflakes up in the sky, I think I thought were just so pretty. And um, those would be cute to, to use ABs for as well if you wanted to, if you have like some special drills. I sometimes get some specialty drills from DP with sparklers and use those to enhance my kits. Uh, but here are the diamonds, you guys. I'm not going to pull these all out to look at, but we have several bags of this white color. I'm sure that is the, the, the snow here in the front. Um, and then some pretty blues and then some house colors in there too. Some, you know, greens and pinks and whatnot. So super, super cute. Oh, I was going to measure just to see. Um, this one does not have the printed border next to the drill field like the Leisure Arts one did, but it does have this kind of white line creating a little bit of a, 
a framing effect, which could be really nice. Like if you just cut this out along that that black line and then displayed it, that actually could could look really nice. Um, I've seen like the magnetic ha hangers um, that people use to hang smaller kits like this. And it does look really nice. Okay. So just measuring the drill field, we're a little under 50 centimeters. So the advertised 50.8 centimeters is if you're measuring the the with the framing part, the black frame part is what um, is what the measurement on the box is, the 50.8 by 40.6. So, but again, an $8 kit, an $8 kit, <laughs> such a fantastic value, I think, um, especially for how it's going to turn out. And again, for for those of you that say, you know, it's just I, I would like to be able to buy my diamond painting kits in store. I don't want to have to order online or, um, you know, say that, oh, it's just too expensive to get <laughs> licensed artwork. Um, these are just a few options that are out there um, and I feel like are you know, nice options <laughs> and decent quality options. And um, like I said, I even want to try working on one of these here. Where's that cute little snowman hot chocolate? Here he is. Like, how cute are these? They are so, 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 so adorable. And I feel like would be um, just really quick little projects to work on seasonally. So uh, even good gifts to give over the holiday season too. So uh, you guys, I will do my best to link to these kits specifically or to sort of this section of their respective websites of, for diamond paintings. Uh, Cause like I said, seasonal stuff's gonna rotate out. I would imagine that they're gonna, you know, kind of discontinue and, and take these off the website. Um, and out of stores as we move out of the winter season. But be sure to check out the Leisure Arts brand if you haven't already, as well as the Make Market brand at Michael's. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Have you tried either of these brands before or discovered any other brands in store? Um, like I said, the, the process, the vetting process that at least here in the States that stores put companies through to be able to even place their products in store, um, from my understanding can often be extremely thorough and in depth. And so, you know, I feel like you can feel good about the licensing that's behind these and um, hopefully the quality of the products too. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, I hope, like I said, that this was helpful and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more unboxings and reviews and tutorials and whatnot from me. I would love to have you here. And otherwise I'm gonna let you go. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and a day in a week that's as amazing as you are. And I will chat with you in the next one. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.